actually uh, that is not it uh, I have one short thing to show you now there could be a question that arises in all this as part of your troubleshooting and I didn't find it to be the case at all in my uh, setup over here and so I don't think you're going to run across this problem but you might in another distribution and that's having permission to access the video device as a regular user and access the audio, audio device as a regular user. This this could be an issue. For my Ubuntu 10.04, it wasn't. At one point, I in these videos, I may mention something about permissions or start saying I did a change chmod666 space dev uh, uh, dev audio or dev video, which right now I'm displaying here the contents of the audio and video directory on this computer and I, I hadn't done anything to it to change permissions in fact I think it's even <laughs> weighted ended up on my no no the other one I think I, I added an additional read write if I didn't change mode 666 that's that wasn't necessary in my case to run the program but I'll tell you why and that's because Ubuntu has made me a member of the audio group in the video group, I, I believe. See? So there we are. Okay, so these permissions here, we got for the owner root, his permissions are to read and write. For anybody in the group video, though, permissions have been granted to read and write the file. And so long as I'm in the video group, or in the case of um, there's video zero, if I unplug this, that'll disappear. And where's audio? It's got. A, I think it's audio one. In my case, if I'm part of the audio group, then I have read and write permissions. And okay, so how do you know what your groups are? Just in case this comes up in some other distribution. It happens to be in Ubuntu. Of course, I don't. You know, I could boot into all these different distributions, but it would take too long for me to get there. Uh, there's something called the group file in your little text-based control panel. You click on that just to reveal what it is. And I should see a audio. Yes, there it is. So James, uh, in this one I, I'm set up to the user James. I'm the member of the, of the audio group. Therefore, I have the permissions that have been granted to the group when the ownership of the file for uh, gives permission to users that are part of the audio group permission to use the audio device. If, if if you've done everything else and you still can't record, this could be this could be a cause. You as the user are not included in a, a group that is allowed to uh, read and write to the file, which basically means in this case, since it's not a program or a text file, it's actually a device, that means use the device. Down here, uh, there's a video, there I am, I'm part of that. So I just wanted to cover that quickly, uh, and now I should be done.